Hi, I'm Dr. Olivares. And I'm Dr. Nanasi. And we're here to discuss some of the concerns and questions commonly asked by our patients' parents when we diagnose a child with amblyopia. So, Dr. Olivares, what is amblyopia? So amblyopia is often called a lazy eye and is commonly diagnosed when an otherwise healthy eye can't see 2020 with glasses. Right, and there are different ways that you can get amblyopia. It develops due to the lack of a clear picture being sent back to the brain during the visual developmental period. It is most often caused by having either a high prescription that's not corrected in one or sometimes both eyes, a significant difference in prescription between the two eyes, or if one of the eyes has strabismus and turns in or out to the side. As Dr. Nanasi mentioned, you can get amblyopia due to blurry vision, but many parents wonder, why would an eye turn cause amblyopia? That is a great question. So, our visual system is pretty smart, and the brain is great at compensating for problems by creating ways around them. So if our eyes aren't aimed in the same direction, but two different directions, rather than having one clear picture, we would see double. So in order to make the double vision go away, over time, the brain will just start to ignore the other picture or suppress it. Right, so in a similar way, if your child can see great out of one eye, but the other eye is blurry because it needs glasses, rather than trying to put these two pictures together that don't match, the brain will suppress or shut off the blurry one. That's why we often see kids for their first eye exam diagnose amblyopia and completely surprise the parents. That parent then feels bad because they had no idea that their child couldn't see well out of one eye. And oftentimes, the child doesn't know that they were seeing blurry either. Right. So the good news is that there are ways to treat amblyopia. Treatment varies on the type or the reason for amblyopia, the age of the child, and the severity. But in general, many studies have shown that glasses alone can make a huge improvement. When glasses aren't enough to fully restore vision, doctors will often use some type of technique like patches that blurs the good eye to allow the amblyopic eye to have the opportunity to rewire. I don't know about you, but I have many parents that say that their kids will not wear an eye patch. Yes, you're right. Sometimes it can be a struggle. Luckily, most of the times, we don't need to patch for a long time in order to get this big impact. Many degrees of amblyopia can have improvements only with a couple of hours of patching a day, which we do after school while they're home. If patching is still too much, the parents can administer a drop into the eye a few times a week that can create similar effects. And don't forget that some types of amblyopia, like the ones that are caused by strabismus, will also benefit from vision therapy. Another question I get asked often by patients is if there is an age where amblyopia can no longer be corrected for. So, doctors in the past said that age 8 was the end of what they called the critical period, where everything was done wiring together and could no longer be helped or corrected. Luckily, we know now that due to neuroplasticity or the brain's ability to change that we can often cure amblyopia in kids even twice that age. You're right, Dr. Nancy, and we have done this numerous times at our office. Yes, we have. And that being said, it's always easier to correct when the patients are younger. So that's a great reason to make sure the whole family has a yearly comprehensive eye exam.